Hi, I'm Paul Seal from CodeShare.co.uk and today I'm going to be reviewing these headphones. Um, they're from iTechnic. Um, I received them in the post last week. I've been using them all week and um, I just thought I'd share my experience of what they're like and what I think of them and how I rate them and you know, let you know whether it's worth you checking them out yourself or not. So the, uh, as the product name above says, it's the iTechnic active noise cancelling wireless Bluetooth headphones. Uh, now I really like wireless Bluetooth headphones. I can't stand the headphones that you have to plug in anymore. So um, I have done a few reviews on headphones before and, and they've been the in-ear ones. So this is the first time that I've had any wireless Bluetooth um, over, over ear ones, if that's what you call them. So these are them. They're uh, nice looking black ones. Um, you can see the nice little disc effect there. They are made by iTechnic. And yeah, they're lovely, lovely headphones. And I really like the soft like leather or faux leather. I'm not sure if it's real leather or not. But I like that feel of that pad there, really soft. Um, and you go on your head. And they're big enough as well for me to look. I've got a big head already, but you see that there's loads of room to actually adjust them and fit comfortably in there. And they're a nice, they're a decent weight as well, and they're good build quality as well. They look, they look strong. Um, so I was really impressed when I opened it out and tried it. I thought, oh, they're Bluetooth, so I've got to charge it up for a while. I plugged it in for about half an hour for its first charge. And that was it. I've not I've not had to charge it again since, and I've used them loads since I got it. Um, let me have a think. So the sound quality. I've been playing them. I've been trying all sorts of music. I've been going on long walks and runs and things like that recently. Anyway, so it came at a really good time for me. Uh, and yeah, running is brilliant in these. They don't fall off at all. You can hear your music great. Um, and walking and everything the actual sound quality itself um, is really good because it's got the active noise cancelling so it cancels everything out I've been used to in here in ear headphones for a while and so to have these over the ear like when I'm listening to music I'm picking up more of the sounds better the stereo sounds better and um, when I'm listening to podcasts I'm noticing sounds in the background that I wouldn't have noticed with my in-ear ones so it's like more accurate sounds uh, coming through with these over the ear ones. Let me put them back on. I may as well demonstrate. The only reason I'm not um, keeping them on while I talk for long is because they're like, you can't really hear yourself talking that that much. And that's without the ANC button on. Um, you've got this ANC button here and that you can hear even less with that on as well. So if I had the music on and that ANC on, um, then it'd be really good for you know, if I'm on an aeroplane or a train or something and I want to zone out. See, one of the good things for me is because I'm a programmer and I, I like to listen to music to code by and things like that, I can just put these on and it really helps me to zone out from wherever. I could be anywhere then. It's just got me, the screen in front of me and the relaxing music on the, on these headphones and it's really comfortable as well. Plus, as a glasses wearer, it doesn't really affect me with having these. It's, it's not really affected. Like you can feel a slight pull on it, but I've had other ones before that do do really affect me. Um, one of the things that was bothering me is I thought there wasn't like a play button or a pause button or an answer phone button. But it turns out, I've looked at the actual instructions. It does come with instructions. And it turns out that you can, um, you can just press the power button. So you can press play by pressing the power button once and then again to stop it. Also the volume buttons also act, if you hold them down, it acts as the next and previous buttons. So it's, they've thought of everything with that. So um, I was really impressed with that, especially you know when I realized that you could do all that. Uh, they fold up nicely like that, so you can put them in your bag, um, you know, fold up like that. And also when I want to put them around my neck, I can put them like that and it's nice and comfortable. Obviously, I've opened it out, give myself an extra bit of room and just sit them around my neck. But most of the time, I just want them on anyway. And, um, yeah, 
I find that I'm listening to music a lot more. Normally I'd listen to podcasts, but since I've got these, I'm appreciating music a lot more. So that's another good thing about it. It's got me back into music. I've got my Amazon uh, music subscription. I'm just listening to all sorts of songs that I've not listened to for years. And uh, I was testing out the bass. So I was listening to some uh, dubstep. Uh, I like the bass. bass. Um, so I was listening to some dubstep just to test out the bass on these. And that's one thing I'd say is that it's not got that, you know, that feeling of... It doesn't... Maybe it's because you shouldn't. I've not really experienced it in headphones before anyway uh, but you know when you have a really loud b uh, booster speaker or something nearby and you can feel the you can feel the vibrations and everything I was expecting to feel something in my head if I was playing the uh, like really bassy music but I didn't really feel that um, that strong uh, the volume goes up quite loud it's really good and everything but I think maybe that's one of the only downsides is it's not Ba really bassy it's got enough bass um it's not tinny definitely not tinny but it's not deep bass um maybe it's something to do with my phone or whatever i don't know but i did change the equalizer on my phone to add extra bass but uh, it's still good anyway so i'm, I'm not going to knock it um, what else can i tell you about it then um oh yeah you can use it for phone calls as well which is really good so you can answer and uh, hang up and things and you can also press it twice press the power button twice to uh, redial when you're pairing uh, it's good for pairing with your phone and everything because it'll like remember it so if you turn it back on again it will just pair straight back to it if bluetooth's on on the device uh, what i do like is that there's a voice that's instead of like having to know what like ding dong or dong ding having to know all these noises it actually says it in english there's a woman that, that says you know turning on or something like that turning off your and um, now connected to your phone and things so it's just straightforward messages um, so I, I like that about it um, what else is there to tell you uh, I made some notes here oh yeah the Bluetooth range so I, w I connected to my laptop and I was listening to music through that and I, I wanted to go and make a drink so I went downstairs and I, I'm, I've got my office in my spare room at the back of the house and I was able to walk all around the house and all the rooms downstairs and upstairs and I was able to still stay connected to the Bluetooth and, and listen to the uh, song. Usually by the time I got downstairs and into the hallway on my other wireless uh, Bluetooth headphones, usually I lose the connection. Uh, so yeah, again, this I think it's because it's Bluetooth 5, maybe it's got a better range, but it definitely helps with this. Um, the, if you want to you can plug it in so in the uh, in the box that comes you do get one of these jacks so you can plug that into the bottom of here into that hole there and then plug that into your phone so say if you don't have Bluetooth on your phone you or you want to plug directly into a computer that doesn't have Bluetooth you can just plug one of these in and uh, it will do that um, let me just show you the buttons on here. So we've got the volume up and down. Uh, we've got the power button. We've got that jack and we've got the noise cancelling button as well. And on this side is the charging part and also the microphone there as well. So as I say, you could be out for a run, someone ring you and all you have to do is just press that power button once quickly and it'll answer the phone and you can talk to someone while you're while you're out and about with your comfortable headphones on it's also good in winter because it keeps your ears warm so i was uh, <laughs> i was quite impressed with that when i was walking around um so let me see if there's anything that i've not told you about it oh yeah the active noise cancelling um i used it when i was doing a bit of hoovering around the house um I, I had these headphones on with my music on and normally if I've got the Hoover on it's quite loud and I can hear it over my headphones and the in-ear ones. With this and the active noise cancelling and the volume up I could hardly even hear the Hoover at all and I, when I was singing away along to songs I couldn't hear myself singing it which is a weird thing because um, usually you can hear your voice a, you know a bit. You can hear a slight bit if I went louder a lot louder I could hear myself if I started shouting or something like that 
And uh, also another thing about the ANC is, um, so my son came into our bed and I didn't want to wake up yet. So he had the iPad and um, I didn't want to hear the iPad. I, I, put, I put the headphones on, I put the active noise cancelling on and I put my uh, music to code by relaxing music on and I just put that on and I was able to go to sleep uh, whilst he's um, watching his giggle biz or whatever it is on the iPad. And so, yeah, it was really good for that. Um, so let me say what the pros are. The pros, I'm amazed with the battery life. It lasts so long. Like I've had it since last week. I charged it for half an hour. I mean, it might have had a full charge almost anyway already. But I'm just looking on my phone now at the battery. Um, let me turn it on. I'm just going to turn it on. Uh, and listen your phone is connected yeah look at this if you see that there and not take bin out 80% battery still I've used it loads I was looking at it and it says that you can get for five minutes of charge you can get three or four hours three to four hours worth of uh, play time on it and I think with a full battery charge let me just flick over to the website for a full battery charge, I think it even does like 20, 15 to 20 hours or something crazy like that. Uh, where is it? Yeah, I can't see the specifications, but yeah, 15 to 20 hours. It's unbelievable how much uh, battery life you get from it. So um, I'm sure I've listened to it more than more than half of that anyway, but it's still not gone down. So I'm not. I mean, I'm. I'm not selling it. I don't work for them or anything. They sent it me. But I just appreciate it. Let me give you a link. So if you do want to buy it, if you want to go have a look at it anyway, I've done a short link on my um, website. So if you put in coachair.co.uk/anc, that will take you to this website direct to the product. So that's why I've done that short link. So it's easy to remember. Um, also, I've they've given me a discount code as well so if you want 20% off just put in um, headphone 20 OF and uh, apparently that gives you 20% off so that's like 47.99 yeah so the 59.99 on Amazon and you can get it for 47.99 or something like that um, I think that's about everything that I want to say oh yeah so I said the pros that's battery life active noise cancelling and the comfort of them as well i just want to keep them on i just want to listen to more music and keep them on and the, the cons if i had to pick one it's not a big one for me because i'm not really into bassy music it's probably the bass it, it's not tinny but it maybe could have more bass i don't know i'm not a headphone expert i'm just appreciate you know nice headphones when they're sent to me like this so yeah um if you are interested Go and have a look. Um, if you go into any of the Umbraco events or anything like that, I will be taking them with me. So if you want to try them there, just you know, ask me and uh, you can try them on and see what you think. Because I always find that it's, it's all right watching a video, but sometimes it's good to try them in, in person, in real life. I, don't, I feel like I've not shown you them much. They are beautiful headphones. And really lightweight as well. Anyway, if you uh, like the video, please click on like, subscribe to my channel, um, share the video with other people, and if you did buy them, and you w let me know what you think of them as well. It would be good to see in, in the comments what you thought to them, um, or if you've got any better ones as well. Maybe there's some better headphones. Like I'm not, I've not heard of iTechnic before. They're not obviously not Bose. I've not, I've never bought any Bose or been sent any Bose anyway. Yeah, so just let's interact and um, hopefully someone might find this review useful and uh, gets a decent headphones out of it. All right, thanks for watching and I'm going to go now. Bye.